Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family! My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. We had a long sleep. <laughs> Oh yeah, we did. <laughs> we were so tired. We've been working in the camper every day, like over eight to 10 hours every single day to be able to upload daily for our YouTube family. So we're super excited that we've been able to accomplish our goal of posting every day, mm -hmm. keeping everybody in good spirits, all while, you know, managing the house and homeschooling the boys and, you know, just life. So we're pretty excited that we've had a little bit of a stretch here for you guys and we hope that we can keep it up. So we had a nice long sleep and today we have another full day of renos on the camper. Let's go. Let's go. On yesterday's video, I had the exciting task of adding some color to update the outside of the camper. And I'm really excited because I think it turned out really good and I still don't even have the full vision. So my idea is that the bottom is going to be black all the way around and the top is going to be fresh, just straight white out of the can. And I know I had a couple of questions on what paint I was using. I'm using an interior, or sorry, I'm using an exterior paint and primer in one by Beauty Tone. I'll put some of the information in the box below. I've been picking it up at Home Hardware. So I took their recommendation on what paint to use for the camper because this is the first camper I've ever painted. So we're gonna probably seal the whole camper at the end. Um, so I'll let you know and update you on what I'm using for that when we get to that point. So what I'm doing right now is I need to use different paint to be able to seamlessly make this part black down. I know I had a lot of comments like, that's not seamless, you need to <laughs> make a line across that. But I need to use a spray paint different on this type of metal as opposed to this. So that's why I left that yesterday. So I'm going to be doing that. And I made myself all the way around here. I started the front of the camper a little bit and I just did a little bit of prep work on this side of the camper here um, and I didn't get to any at the back I just have it all taped off so I still have a bunch of work to do on the outside painting the problem is forecast is calling for rain for the next two if not three days one day break and then two more days of rain so I'm going to be putting the outside on a little bit of a standstill and focusing on projects on the inside before we build our second bench, we read all the comments from yesterday's video and a lot of you had a great idea to create some additional storage in a little bit of a different way than I was thinking originally for my bench seating. So I wanted to make sure that both of my seats opened like a lid flap underneath the seating to be able to throw bedding and stuff. But since the back of one of them is going to be at the entrance here, you guys suggested a spot for shoe storage. Well, that is a great idea. And we know from spending some time in a Winnebago that floating around shoes is just not an option. We need to have a spot. So we're going to leave the back open uh, on the bottom lower half of the seating spot on this side. Well, we just happened to have kept a few of the cabinet doors that we had taken off for some upper storage. And so what I'm gonna do is check and see if this is actually the right size that I'll be able to do the right height to actually add this to the back, leaving a cupboard for shoes at the front door, which I think is so brilliant. And so I actually lucked out because this cabinet is exactly minus like, well, plus about two millimeters extra space to be able to have this open freely to have one of these on the back of that matching cupboards in the rest of the unit. So this is a very good coincidence that this is going to match. And so we're going to put one of these on the back side, um, which will be able to swing open away from the door so the kids can throw their shoes in there. Okay, so I cut the 36 inch length. So right. we know we have two for the bottom. Right. I'm going to need to cut two more for the top and they did the depth ones here. So then our decision is, do we want to make a tall back yeah. like we did on this one yeah. to be able to hang like hooks and stuff on and then we'll have the cupboard door at the bottom to put shoes in. I love the cupboard door. Okay. Okay, so I read in the comment section yesterday and there was a bunch of people that actually wrote that that they said, no back, Okay. just a bench. That would open it up so much and then um, you know, some of the little inspiration pictures I was showing you where they had like this little thing draped over the seating. Yeah. Um, I could do that and then we could sit both ways. So if we have like mom and dad in the camper with us or something, we could sit facing this way if we were all in the seating area, right? We wouldn't have that block back. So if you're sitting here and there's a back, you can't sit and face this way. Right. But if we just leave it open, then we have that option to you have it. have another bench here. To face this sitting area. 
I kind of dig I it. like that, too. It will leave it, make it feel a lot more open. Right. And then when you come in, it's not like there's a wall right here. Yeah. So it's free. Okay, I think that idea works best, right? Okay. Thank you, YouTube family. Yay! This is why it's amazing that we're doing the work same day that we're posting, because it gives us an opportunity to read your suggestions and comments if you guys have had campers before. Because this is our first camper, so yeah. I think that's a way better idea. Well, let's do that and then see what it looks like. Awesome. Because we can always add it back if we yeah. don't really like it, but let's build our, okay. our bench. Awesome. <laughs> I need a new thing. A little bit sliced. Yeah, I know. I have a tennis shot left. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have to pilot hold this, otherwise it will split. Okay. I've done it a lot of times <laughs> when I was trying to rush things. Okay. What happens when you measure things, make adjustments, and then forget to remeasure? Isn't it supposed to be like measure twice, cut once, <laughs> not cut three times, measure once? <laughs> hey. Oh, that's perfect. Hammer cam, where's the hammer cam? Ooh, ooh, hammer cam. Okay. Oh. <laughs> hammer cam. Dun 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 Brace it a little bit. Are Ready? we putting a center one in or not? I don't think we need it with half inch plywood. No, I don't think so. I think because it's got the lip all the way across, it should be yeah, good. I think we'll it's going to be it. all the way to the end and all the way. I think it's good. Oh my gosh! It was we made so French toast good. This morning with like thick Texas toast, and it was like the Texas loaf. Oh my gosh, it was delicious. I could have eaten three more. We've been feeling like we've quite an appetite just being outside in the fresh air all day. So this morning I was like, I'm not having cereal. We're making something yummy. <laughs> well, thank you because it, it was, was super delicious. Okay, we might be having that for breakfast tomorrow too because. Oh, I caught that. Did you see that maneuver? Cat-like reflexes. Little cat-like reflexes. Okay. Pull up your ridges. <laughs> I never wear jeans. They're so uncomfortable compared to yoga pants. All right. I'll buy them with more stretch. <laughs> or stop eating French toast one or the other. <laughs>
when we've been showing interior views of the camper, we've been getting a lot of comments asking what the big rectangle that seems to be boarded up in the kitchen is. I'm gonna show you what that is. So from the outside, it's actually a rock shield where the camper gets pulled so that rocks don't break the kitchen window because you don't want rocks to smash your window. And so we have this great shield and what you do is you just hold it up. There's a little thing right here that you can tighten up on both sides. I'm short. And then you have a full kitchen window, which opens from the inside. Can you see me? I can. So I have this huge kitchen window and both sides open. Oh, I can feel the breeze coming in. So this would let in a lot of light if I was working in the kitchen. So it's really not boarded up. It's just this gorgeous, huge window. I like the windows in here. I love that we have huge windows, which is why we wanted to really make sure that our seating area would let us to be able to enjoy the view, whatever that view might be, out this window, rather than having our backs to it, building like an L-shaped banquet. So pretty excited that we're gonna get that second part in today. We should have bought a bigger camper just so we could paint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stay in. So this is my second coat that I'm doing on the cabinets. That way it can dry and then I can do a clear coat because I want to do a clear satin poly over the whole thing just for some extra durability. I know we're not going to have daily use in the camper every single day. And so it probably doesn't really matter that much. I'm using a really good quality paint, but I'm still going to do it. So. I just can't get over this green. I just love when it dries up and the color that it is. Well, yeah, when you paint it on, it's like an olive green and you're like, oh, it's not right. I had a moment of panic, even though I even know from using this color a lot that it dries a little bit darker, but it's just a really nice, like earthy green that's got that pigment of color in it, but isn't too much. And right now it looks really green because we have nothing else in here, but when everything else is together, it's gonna like blend gonna go all together. I got carried away and started painting green down that way forgetting that this area was going to be white. <laughs> so there's a green stripe down there but I, I forgot. <laughs> gonna work on getting the wallpaper off in the bedroom side. We have a lot of wallpaper to remove on this side. Waiting for paint to dry. <laughs> I know where the fire extinguisher is. <laughs> it's probably so old there's nothing in it though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Loosen in the glue much better. This room was super glued on. The other parts of the camper seemed to come off really, really easily and barely had any glue left. Good thing you're not that tall. You're pretty cramped in here. <laughs> perfect height for me. heat gun is working a little bit but this is a pain oh boy what is she doing oh i gotta go check this out what do you got going on now <laughs> i have to see what one of the window frames is gonna look like white because i'm torn between black and white and i really think i want a seamless look of the white window frames inside and out because I'm not putting any black inside the camper. So I have to spray one white and see. So I taped off the window. It was probably an easier method, but I have lots of paint on tape. So I just <laughs> <laughs> it's metal, so I'm using my rust coat clear white.
to look too farmhouse on the outside with what I'm planning to do on the inside. Right. I want it to be like vintage, clean. I don't know. My head has a picture. <laughs> I think I say that in every video. <laughs> dry for a little bit yeah Let's see I so badly want to roll the camber white right now but I know I have rain the next couple days and I just shouldn't do it no don't do it yet don't rush it but it will look so good on those <laughs> <laughs> it will I totally said I wasn't gonna do any of the exterior here today <laughs> but the spray paint dries so fast so my excuse. You fibber. <laughs> I can't resist myself. <laughs> mm. I can't resist you. Aww. I don't want to scrape any glass after, so I'm taping really well so that when we peel it off, there's no more work to do. So I have to use a special type of spray paint. You got the other half of your bed. You're gonna have to lay like a V though because you have no middle right now. <laughs> <laughs> but day, that is gonna be a nice long bed for you when the table's in the middle and it goes level with this, nice. day. Because when the table is gonna be here, it's gonna push down are you gonna, are you gonna flat have with like this. Leather too? How will it Underneath? Leather? Yeah. Like, like, or you mean like it's gonna be like fabric. Yeah, mom's gonna upholster it, give you cushions and everything. It's gonna your the table's gonna come down and it's gonna go it as down? low as this. There's a special mechanism that we're yeah. gonna do. What wait, what Daddy what's I have that to gonna order be it. for? Right there. That is gonna be a seat bench. And this is gonna be like a bench, right? So and you then can like this, the right? table's gonna come down in the middle here and lay flat. So you'll be able to lay like that will be like your headboard. <laughs> and then you'll be able to lay your body right out here. You're gonna have a nice long bed. But if there's a table here, we'll be able to eat or play board games or whatever. Day, if we're parked by like the beach, be your to... view is gonna be the ocean when you're sleeping. Yeah. That would be the best view ever. <laughs> yes. Come down right to here. You've got the view of the beach. Cool? Yeah. I get my stuff done, I can always come out and do a little more painting. I'm definitely painting inside all the cupboards. Yeah. Closing all this up before the thunderstorm comes. Yeah, I think it's gonna rain. I'm gonna go close the rock shield. We gotta bring our tools in. Whoever built this, there's actual brad nails sticking out of the outside. Dang. When I did the tape yesterday and I went like this, I went right across my hand. Be careful. That's how I found them. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna look so cool. You think I can take the black tape off or the tape off this one side? Yeah, why not? You might have to put it back on again. Do this one corner. Which corner? This one right here, right up Where to that vent. Yeah. Okay. Just the tape field here. So hold on. Oh wow. Amazing. It's gonna the, look so clean. The vision. I may or may not have gotten a little bit of black right there. Unbelievable. This I have to use the black spray paint to do this from the line down. And then when this is all white and those frames are all white, the tape 
and everything's all off, it's gonna be amazing. It already is. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it coming into shape now. Your vision. Unreal. Cleaning up before the storm hits. I really was hoping it wasn't gonna rain till tomorrow, but we did get a lot done today. You did. Where did all these leaves come from? And thanks to our YouTube family, we've uh, got a bench. We have a bench. And better than I think we originally planned, so. Absolutely. Posting the same day we're working is definitely beneficial for getting some brainstorming. Absolutely. With YouTube. Almost 100,000 people brainstorming. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube family, if you have ideas, leave them down in the comments. We want to hear them. We do read them all. We do. Every one of them. My trusty can opener from the 80s that's been on the fridge. I've been using it for everything. For those of you who are asking about how much weight we're taking out of the camper and how much we're putting in, we actually took out that entire trailer full of stuff from the camper. So just putting in a few one by twos or two by twos to make our seating really isn't adding much weight in. This hardwood that was in here was all over the whole camper floor and it was so heavy. And then we also took out all of that other wood. Incredible how much weight we got out of this camper. So we're really being conservative with what we're putting back in. And we're using light wood to construct everything like one yeah. by twos and two by twos. No, no two by fours. And... No, not if we can help it anyway. Yeah. We'll see if we, how we run out here. We're using exactly what we have at home. So get this place all cleaned up before we go in for the night. Oh, you're not working. <laughs> yes. This is working. Does that work? For like yeah. shoes and stuff. Or maybe slide back and forth. I think so maybe sliding be might like... be best. But what if these Ooh, shoes be good cool. as under my bed? Yeah. Just like Yeah, that. but your head's gonna go your on that gonna side. Go under there. <laughs> yeah, so it's even more stinky. <laughs> you think you're gonna fill your bed with stinky shoes? <laughs> What? I don't think it's a good idea to put shoes under my bed. <laughs> Whose well, feet smell the worst? This is going to be cool. <laughs> right, this would be so much better, Philly, if we could do it so it would slide, throw That's shoes in, and yeah. then put it back. Okay. As we're wrapping up episode 11. We want to thank you guys for all the support. We've been reading so many comments that you guys are leaving us just about how we're the first thing you guys watch in the morning or the last thing you watch before you go to bed and how our daily uploads are keeping your spirits high. And we just want you guys to know that we are so thankful to be working on this project and thankful for all of you because you guys are having the same effect on our family. All of your comments and reactions to our videos and just knowing that there's almost a hundred thousand of you on the other side mm -hmm. um, that are watching our content and encouraging and supporting us and just cheering us on on the other side it just like warms our heart we can't even thank you guys enough i know we say it in every video but we're gonna keep saying it because <laughs> um having our youtube channel has had some really grand effects on our life so we're really thankful for all of you and we appreciate you yeah all and of you having this content keeps us busy at home as well and our children are having a blast doing this content and we love to make our youtube videos in general anyways so this is just the perfect opportunity to spread some cheer for everyone and you guys are doing the same right back so thank you guys so much for watching we love you guys and we will see you on tomorrow's video love you love you <laughs>